Morning, friends. Hi. Hi. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. You guys have seen a lot of us this week. Yeah. Right? yeah. And Thursday. Mm -hmm. This is always a fun week for us because we get to do it twice. Yes. <laughs> we get to chat more with you, which we love. Mm -hmm. um, thanks for joining. And like they said, happy yeah. Thursday morning. We're super excited about today because yesterday we put out this kind of all call, all, all hands on deck, all hands on deck <laughs> to our viewers and, and just said, hey, share with us your DIY projects, mm -hmm. your design, your decor, and let us be inspired. And we have some pretty talented folks um, <laughs> yeah. that watch um, Ion on Events. Um, we were pleasantly overwhelmed yesterday with the amount of, hi everyone, we see you guys joining we were so um, pleasantly overwhelmed that um, we received so many pictures via message or email um, or texts or, I mean, we got a ton of them. We got so many that we're not quite sure we're going to make it through all of them today, <laughs> um, but we loved getting to see them and we were definitely inspired by you all. So thank you so much for um, doing that. Um, so also today, one of our fun things is because it is the season of giving, um, we've had two winners already for our Ion Events mug. We had um, Jacqueline and Amanda win. And guess what? Somebody who comments today. today. If, yes, if you comment. <laughs> hi, Allison. Um, if you comment today and you've not won a mug yet... Your name will be entered. This is going to be backwards to you guys right now, but I promise you when you win it, it will be facing the correct direction. Um, your name will get entered to win an Emily Weddings Ion Events mug, which we love. Um, so make sure you comment. Okay, so today we're going to kind of bang out um, real quick so that we don't go over our time. Some fun designs, and then we're going to show you what everyone sent in. Please feel free to comment and talk. We want to know that you're here. We want you to be engaged with us. Yeah. If you are the one that sent in the picture, please tell us a little bit more about the picture. Um, or if you want to know how it's done, we will try to find the answer for you. Yes, yes. Um, or maybe the, the sender of the picture or the creator of the design will be on as well, and then they can comment on that. So what I wanted, Brittany, show us what you've been up to, because okay. I love this. Well, you among 10 million other things. Right. <laughs> <At its list. laughs> yes, I have been crafting up a storm at home. Um, the holidays are just a fun time to do that. I wanted to make pom-pom garland. I was going to make them out of which I'm going to as well. I'll post the picture when that's finished out of fabric yo-yos that I've been making. Mm -hmm. But I also wanted pom-poms um, that look like snowballs. It's so um, cute. Um, so Bring it to you guys. What you do, I found a little how-to on Pinterest, of course. And Love they it. had a really easy way to do multiple. They have templates you can make where you can do one at a time. Um, the one I did was I tied the end of the yarn to the end of the table, and then I went around the other side, and I just kept wrapping forever. Um, and then you take embroidery thread or dental floss, something strong, and then you just, you kind of, yeah, show that. So you do, you just, like, a bunch of strings, if yep. you will? Yeah. And then um, it's the floss or the yeah. thread and once you get it as thick as you want it then you can tie them off and it looks like a link of sausages <laughs> and then you just go through and you cut the middle of them after you've already tied your embroidery mm -hmm. thread and then it looks like that when you're finished um cutting okay. and then i just stood over a big uh like brown paper bag to cut and make them fluffy into a ball so depending on how how many wraps you do, it can be like a you can make a little ball, you can make bigger balls, you can make really big ones. It'd be it'd be so to see the different though. sizes yes. strung together. Yes, and then you just take a needle and thread, and you thread right through them all, and you can space them out, and then you can make really pretty garland with them. You can do all different colors. Um, you can add them to gifts. Yeah, you know, oh, that's tassel. cute. The toppers, mm -hmm. um, and something that. I or, wanted yeah. to do Your was, was cute. um, I, I, I always go the quick route. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, but it was I like, can we see the idea. this? I love design. I love decor. I love all of that, but I like to take the quick way out. And so, um, I went to the store and picked up 
cotton balls. Mm -hmm. um, and you can kind of fluff them out if you want, or you can just keep them round, but you take thread and you string them through the mm -hmm. cotton balls. And so like if you had a rustic Christmas tree or something that you mm -hmm. wanted all white, um, that, that would be like kind of pom-poms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the kids garden. can help and you can, I like your idea because it is a quick, easy, fun craft if the kids are helping. And inexpensive. Yes, very inexpensive. You could probably use the buffalo snow too. I have so much of that from my Christmas village no left over. It oh, it's snow that you buy in a bag. Oh, it's you not... stretch it out. A yeah. Little... Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So but it kind of looks like webbing, like yes. a Halloween yeah. spider. Yeah. Not sweaters. really. It's thick, but yes. yes. Um, but when she started talking about the cotton balls, you could hang them in your windows on clear string That's and they'll cool. look like, like snow coming yeah. down. Like fishing wire on that one. Yeah. Um, okay. So we're going to move along. Yeah. Hi, Charity. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Amelia. Hi, Allison. We see you guys. And Blake Roberson. Yeah. And Ashley is Katie. just joined too. We, yeah. we want some sharing from him. I so think. we're going to jump onto some of the pictures, but, and I see Charity on. And so, um, I'm going to jump to this because Charity, I want you to comment on yours. Um, because I'm super jealous that I didn't think about the way that you did it um, for these um, stocking hangers because she gets full use year round of her stocking hangers. So we don't have a fireplace in my house. I do own, this is a fun fact about me, I do own the piano that was played in the movie A Walk to Remember. Many and um, Mandy Moore, yeah, played on that piano on the Nicholas Sparks movie. Um, and I typically will hang the stockings on there, but I kind of wanted my piano back because I also yeah. like to play mm -hmm. it. And so this year I wanted to make stocking hangers. And I went to the, the um, Home Depot, like a home improvement store, and had them cut one board down to five individual um, smaller boards. Hobby Lobby, um, a local craft store, was having 50% off these fun snowflakes. So I painted the wood, it's glued. Mm -hmm. It was fun. Now, where I'm super jealous is this is going to be winter and winter time only, and then it's going to go back into my, like, Sterilite container and get put away for an entire year, which I'm going to show you right now. We're going to jump on some of the pictures. And hi, Charity. All right, so you let us know. Let me go to yours. All right, guys, I'm flipping you around. Facebook someday will get the get get kind of improve and help us to post pictures live but right now we've gotten something pretty creative going so we will be able you guys will be able to see hey guys we're having some technical difficulties and so we apologize we're going to give it a second for you guys to jump back on um, and join us and charity is going to fill us in. I don't know why we got kicked off. I flipped the um, camera around, but we've done that before mm -hmm. without a problem and not had an issue. So um, not exactly sure what happened or why. Again, I wish that... Um, Technology isn't 100%, unfortunately. <laughs> right? We do the best we can. We're in the same location. We have the same kind of internet connection. But when we... Hi, Blake. Thanks for joining. When we flip the camera around, it, it basically stalled out for some reason. So we're just going to jump back on. Um, and we wanted to talk... I just showed um, in the previous video our um, stocking hangers that I created. And they were definitely... Um, Hi, Katie. Thanks for joining. Um, they were definitely kind of Christmas themed. And what I love about Charity's um, stocking hangers, and I'm trying to wait for a second because I wanted Charity to jump back on and share with us what she has going on here. Um, I guess I'll just start talking about it. Maybe she'll jump back on here in a second. So um, she took a single board and um, here, let me show you, this was mine that I just talked about, how um, I took one long board, had it cut into five different boards, and then added snowflakes to them. And so they're definitely your, hi, Charity, thanks, I'm so glad you're back. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, when we flipped the camera around, somehow we stalled out. So um, I don't know why, but we are back. And so um, I wanted to chat with you about yours. This is Charity's. And she took a single board and got really cool knobs for the top. Are they pretty? Like, yeah. I have a fireplace, but I like You would just do this. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. For the rest of the year. Yes. So, so I was going to say, Charity, what do you do for the rest of the year? Um, and, yeah. and talk to us a little bit about the top and what you have going on um, 
on top of the board because it is two pieces. And I thought that was a really clever um, idea. I also really love the personalized stockings. Yes. Um, that little kitty ballerina is so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> So fun. So knobs were from Pier 1, and they were on clearance. We love that C word, Charity. Mm -hmm. We definitely <laughs> love clearance and, and kind of inexpensive ways to decorate. But you get this year-round. You get to use this. Um, and you had mentioned pictures. So when the stockings get you know put away after Christmas, that you would hang pictures oh, that's a good idea. on the knobs. And she, I think that she does it... Um, with different lengths of ribbon. Yeah, cool. So it just kind of adds texture. Hi, Amelia. Thanks for joining. So Charity says that she normally hangs picture frames mm -hmm. on the ribbon at varying lengths. That's and so, a great idea. Yes. And then this top portion can be removed. Yeah. Um, and she could even put Another other side. things up there. Mm -hmm. And she does put stuff up there um, year-round. So that's super fun. We're going to move on. But Charity, if you have anything else to add... Um, on that, we would love to hear from you. All right, so we see that Blake is on, and so we wanted to jump. Do you guys see what slide, um, let's see, or 12? All right, so this is Blake, um, Blake's design. And Blake, you are a local firefighter here in, is Chesapeake? it Chesapeake? Yep, um, thank you. Yes. We love you, Blake. Yes. Um, so it's Blake, fire fill fire. us in on what's going on. It is firefighter fire themed, isn't that so cool? They have, that whole room is all fire firefighter themed. Really? Yes. Um, I've only seen it once during Christmas time and it is pretty spectacular, I'm yes. not gonna lie. I love that they've got this, um, you know, uh, nutcracker, like kind of soldier looking so firefighter. Cool. And then he's got firefighters all below here. And then we have um, another it. picture, if we get to it, that he's got this whole town of, like, fire stations. Yes. Is so which is cool. so cool. I love it. And then um, these stockings I that his those. wife and um, mother-in-law mother made. Hi, Perry. Out of turnout gear. Yes. Yeah. And then this. So stop it. I didn't even notice that. What's Do you see this hat? That? This was his, like, training it. hat. Yes. Stop. So our helmet. That so so adorable. We love, love, love when it's so personalized. Yes. When you're when you can decorate um, and, and make it personal, it and really does also, tell a guys, story. They have two little boys, so what a They're cool theme happen. for their boys too. Yeah. I mean, what little boy doesn't love the whole firefighter? Yeah, I it's love incredible. it. I love it. Good morning, Perry. Hi, Perry. You're so cute. Um, okay, oh, here's wow. another cool one that I wanted to show you because. Because weddings are our thing. Um, this is a wedding invitation that um, someone ended up like shredding. Her name's Colleen. Colleen ended up like ripping it up into beautiful curls. And she hangs it on her tree every year. And she it's says beautiful. it's just one of her favorite ornaments. Yeah. And it's such a great thing to do with your um, invitation instead of getting it packed yes. up and, and yeah. you never see it again. Like, yeah. do I something must, cute. I'm, this is Brittany. I must say my favorite trees that I see um, are the ones with the personalized mm -hmm. ornaments on it. So yes. when you have friends and family come over um, and yourself, when you look at it, I mean, it gives you something to talk about. It like, does. It, so, it can bring yes. you right back to a certain spot. We yes, had a conversation with um, a wonderful floral designer, um, yes. Aisha Foss, recently about how, you know, when her nieces and nephews and her family members come over, they love to look in and see all the different things yes. and talk about the memories. So that's a great that. idea. That is such a great idea. So speaking of memories, this is yes. this is the um, ultrasound picture. Is that the flying tomato? The mini flying tomato? Uh, you know, who knows which child. She has four children, and so we're not. I'm not sure which one this. Actually, it's pink, so it's either going to be um, her daughter, Rosie, or Addie's. I love it. Um, but it's the ultrasound picture, and then... The bracelet. The yeah, the there's bracelet. a bracelet, so maybe this is Sawyer's. <laughs> um, but this is his um, ultrasound picture, it's and then so his little fun. bracelet. And she even, um, on this picture... Most people are just sitting in a tub somewhere. Right, you know? right. And, and you, never, you never see it again. And a little hat, and then the ultrasound picture. So that's another cute thing to do with ornaments, is, again, just... Make it personalized. I'm, I'm, I'm stealing that. Yeah. I love it. We'll be doing that. Um, I wanted to show some of these really pretty 
um, mantles. mantles. Mm -hmm. So in, in the fall, Brittany and I talked about like making sure that you incorporate like things that are just around the house. And so yeah. they've got the, the trees and the, the bark, but something I loved about this picture and it is completely gorgeous is over here in this little like cinch sack guys, Good. it's wrapping paper. No, you I'm guys, so we bad. have to we have to buy wrapping oh, well, paper. In that sack, that's Isn't that adorable? Stop, I love that. So it becomes like storage, but also yes. decor. So yes. it's very, very clever. I were, wow. From here, I thought they were from where I'm sitting. Because in the actual picture, I could tell it was wrapping paper, but I thought they were like birch logs or something. Oh, yes. which, would be, yes. would, yeah. which would be cool too. But I love the Isn't wrapping that paper. Clever. Idea. Yeah, you see I'm the blue like, and the polka dots. I know, yeah. it's so cute. I'm changing my whole mantle. Thanks a lot. All right, thanks a lot. So then this <laughs> oh, is mine. Brittany's, and I love That's how good. you incorporated the ribbon through yes. the tree, but also through the mantle. That was thanks to Aisha Foss as well, who okay. gave me that design. Um, I have my big real tree in my other living room, but this one I wanted to do fun and funky because yes. I'm always in the kitchen, and that room's right off the kitchen. And I just, you know, you want to try something fun every once in a while. It's it's very whimsical. And those stockings, too, are the most wonderful gift I've ever received in my life. Sorry, anybody else that's given me. <laughs> they are all handmade by my grandma, my mom, oh. um, cross-stitched seams. So mine's Santa wow. with a little girl coming down the stairs. So any, time, any type of Christmas craft or holiday craft you do would be a treasured gift for anyone. Right. Absolutely. Um, something that I wanted to point out, that this is like such a fun... Um, that is so cute. So I've seen this all over oh, Pinterest yeah. this year, that. and like kind of this trend, if you don't have a fireplace, create the fireplace. And oh darn it, you know what? This what person sent me... She sent me, I, I forgot to add it, but she sent me the how-to. Guys, these are free boxes that she stacked up, and then she um, got red wrapping paper mm -hmm. and cut out the, the bricks and then put them on. So it was, um, I think that the entire fireplace that she made was a total of $4. That's so awesome. That's so incredible. super cute. I'm sorry, I meant to um, post the how-to. Yeah, I can add it Your later. Beautiful. Tree is gorgeous. Okay, so... How adorable is this, guys? And there's a template. This is cardboard. I don't know if you guys can, like, see really well, but you can tell that this is cardboard, and I think that there was a template on yes. Pinterest. She's, I don't think it was. She found it somewhere online. You could probably Google it and find, find where it is. But my neighbor made that for me and another neighbor and herself, and I'll post a picture later that I just received. Oh, perfect. Emily is on top of it. Um, so that is hers that she has up in her house, and she added a light styrofoam wreath, and she just wound um, green ribbon and cut up old t-shirts around it. Um, and then just added the little berries. And that it is, is amazing. The cutest thing ever. So speaking of ribbon, we had someone submit this picture, which I absolutely oh, I adore. This is Garland. You can see that she's got the um, strips she, here. And she has sorry, wrapped them around a light strand. And this is, she sent it to us real quick, kind of um, Stop. lit up. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And all the ribbon right That's now amazing. is like 70% off. So you guys go grab your ribbon and get on that craft. That's beautiful. So now Katie, are my you back on? on is Katie back on the feed? Because I would love to chat with Katie about her design. Um, Katie is super DIY. Um, I wanted to mention about um, Sheila, the reindeer, yes. the cardboard reindeer. Who doesn't have cardboard right now? Yeah. I mean, right. Right. Honestly, if you so need cardboard, true. come here because and, I've ordered everything. And what a sweet gift for yes. me, for someone. I mean, that's easy. It's free except for the two buttons that she glued on. But um, what a sweet gift. Yes. And oh, I'm yeah. making that like today. <laughs> <laughs> so this looks like old fencing. Yes. Um, um, and it might even be pallet board. right. Pallet boards would work. Um, what I love is that. Um, it's, we're at Coastal Virginia. You're going to yes. find the shells. You're going to find, and you can still make this all like, um, hi, Katie. I, we love this. We adore this because it just screams coastal, but it's also Christmas. Was this a new fence? Is it a pallet? Is it an old Katie fence? Yeah, Katie made it. There's a whole, I mean, the craft stores are catching on because they have a whole aisle of just wood stuff now like Wood already stuff. put yeah. together that you can take home and paint but if you already have it that's an easy uh, thing to make hi jamie welcome I love this katie 
This is gorgeous. <laughs> um, Katie, Katie is, hi loves, hi Jamie. Um, Katie might be typing up, so we're going to move on, but um, Katie, fill us in on this. This looks like love driftwood, it. too, up here, I know, I love which is so gorgeous. All right, so, so I wanted to show something fence. else that involved pallets. Oh, it was their old fence. Okay, so look awesome. at this, guys. We had a friend submit um, a Christmas tree that they used pallet oh, board for, it. and all they had to do was go buy the, um, like, a two-by-four. Oh, yeah. um, and then the strand of lights, which it was just, and then this, the pallet was free. Um, and you can get them at your, you know, home and it was off of their old fence. Okay. So the one that Katie, this right here was off of their old fence, so awesome. which is so great to repurpose. Um, and it's such a cute idea that you did. I also love, I saw you, um, had big round pieces of wood that you guys made like ornaments with. I'd love to see. Um, maybe you can post one of those after we're live. You can post pictures. And so, um, okay. So back to the palette. Isn't this so I've, yes. cute? And I've seen one recently. It was just painted all white, and it was so oh, pretty. Yeah. Like, I would love one of those next to my, my big blow-up Santa Claus. It just mm -hmm. gives it more depth, and, yeah. you know... I don't know. I think it's adorable. I love it. Good hey, y'all, make sure that you um, are commenting if you're asking any questions or we'd love to help you um, at least get to, in contact with the owner so you can figure out how to do some of these things. Um, but also remember, if you comment, you are entered to win an Ion Invents mug today. Um, something else that I wanted to show you would just kind of leftover pallet wood or wood. This is so yeah. simple to do. Mm -hmm. It's five nails and some ribbon and it can be any color, any Stringer. anything. But yeah, Beautiful. like stringer. Yeah. But it 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 fills the the room nicely, mm -hmm. really inexpensively. I love it. Um, adorable. Something else that um we repurposed is a wreath. Oh, yeah. So this wreath kind of hangs year round. And again, Hobby Lobby was doing the 50% off these cardboard letters, some it. spray paint. And then it ends up, you can see our elf decided Cute. to hang out in the wreath. I um, love that. But, and, and you can do Noel, mm -hmm. you can do Joy. There's there's a couple of words that have that O in it. So yeah. if you've holiday. got a wreath, holiday. holiday. Oh, check holiday. me. Holiday. Um, we're British all of a sudden. Um, okay, so Jamie is on. Oh, yay, Amelia. I'm so glad you like these ideas. Um, Caitlin, welcome. Um, all right, so talking about repurposing, Jamie, if you're still on, we're jumping to yours because I yes. just love this. Yes, yes. Jamie I is, I was going to say a new mother, but I think your little guy just turned one. Yeah. Or is he oh, about to? No, no, no. He's, He's about like, to. Is he already? Yes. Yes. That's oh, what yeah, I'm like, shocker. <gasps> yeah. Oh my gosh, that year went by fast, Jamie. It so yeah. did. She yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> so Jamie got super creative. Jamie's another event planner in the area, and these are formula containers. So cool. That she has repurposed um, for treats for the neighbors. <laughs> A little bit of spray paint, ribbon, wrapping paper, or fabric. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but either way, it's absolutely adorable mm -hmm. and we love repurposing you could probably use your uh diapers diaper wipes uh packages yes. too mm -hmm. yeah those are really cute so adorable way to go way to be clever i just love this and and you can do any kind of old it's paper it's paper i think that that's brilliant yeah. merry wow. christmas i love it um, okay, so something else. Hi, Allison. Sorry that we got disconnected earlier. We flipped the camera around, and technology did not love that. <laughs> it's a no, no, no. It's too early. Um, so something else that we absolutely love. Now, if this were me, I would have printed this on a free printable from Pinterest and stuck it in a frame and called it a day because... Like I said earlier on the first part of our video, I just waste my days. I'm like, I'm Ladies like, can we design quickly? Um, but this was hand drawn by Brittany, Thanks for the our teammate Brittany, um, that she saw this design on Pinterest and then by hand just copied it. But I promise you that it is easily mm -hmm. done if you're not that artistic. Print it, yes. push but print. She also claims to have terrible handwriting, which I mean, right we can see is not. Well, not the case. You know, just when I'm Russian, it's bad. <laughs> My poor brides are like, can you read that? Like, <laughs> so great. It is so fancy. I love it. Guys, we're probably getting over time here. We, um, I'm going to do just a few more because we got caught up with uh, technology. Yeah. Fluke. We'll flip it around. Oh, man, there were so many great ones that we just haven't had time um, to go through. We love... 
Here, let's. Yeah, you can just flip through some. Okay. Well, I'll flip through a few, and then um, I love these wreaths. Beautiful. All oh, hand yes. done. The felt. I oh, love that. Fun. She said that was like four bucks. Four so bucks from like the dollar store. So awesome. This is a friend's first attempt at wreath making, which I, I just it. thought was wow. so great. Um, think that one is absolutely gorgeous. And then here's okay. another design um, from a friend, Diana. And this is the tree, which I absolutely oh, love the top. Beautiful. I mean, that's fancy too. Um, we love this idea with the... Um, the balls, the Christmas oh, yeah. balls that you can do, and you can do real candles or battery-operated candles, depending on what age your children are, if you have animals or cats yeah. around that you would want to protect them. We love this. This is a colleague's office. Light, and what light, I love light. is the bells, guys, the that's jingle really bells in the, mm -hmm. awesome. in the jar. So find what you have that's Christmassy and go ahead and fill those glass jars because it just adds a, a little extra touch to the design. We love our displays here. Look at all of the with the snow. Great job, everybody, on that. Okay, here's some wooden trees with handprints of the children. That's really cool. Or finger oh, thumbprints, oh, which I love. And here's the same, you know, kind of situation. They've got um, handprints on this tree. It's kind of hard to see. And then the footprints, and it just adds yeah. into the design. But again, it makes it extra special. I so love. Crafty. I know yeah. all these viewers had such great ideas. The really bring it out. It yeah. does. This is um, jewelry, is really cool. a jewelry tree, and I have actually a relative that has done this with like great grandmother's jewelry and grandma's jewelry that are costume jewelry, nothing too valuable, but it kind of brings them out on the holidays. And buttons, you can is that a, buttons is it a pillow? No, I mean, it, um, my relative has it on like a felt that was put okay. on top of something. Cool. So, okay. um, and that. hers is actually green, but any color and. And, and I felt. love this next one. This oh, is so fun. So Look cute. at these little tiny um, trees that someone sent in for us. Paper. Susan, paper. Isn't that cute? They're adorable. Um, Does that take long to make? It doesn't. Just I would some, love to know. Just different little sizes little, of yeah. paper, and then you just kind of bend them or oh, well, accordion. Oh, I see, like, and then you cut them. Or yeah, Susan, I wonder if you could make them out of, um, like, cupcakes. Cu I was going to say, they look like cupcake holders to me, and you just trim them up, and that might be even... Easier, easier because they're already bent. But those, yeah, definitely look like trees. Those are cute. And then I love, we talked about personalizing earlier. We have a friend whose husband is a police officer, and so she handmade these gifts to give my husband, their daddy, our hero, love, love. Um, and the heart, and of course it's got the law enforcement. Um, and she passed these out, and I, awesome. I think it's anytime you can personalize a gift like that. Um, She's got a cricket. Is so she has a cricket. <laughs> so extra special. I want to make sure that I didn't um, pass any up here in the front. We talked about the. Um, I think we got a lot of it. We'll go back to this pretty thing. Oh. I don't know why it. Anyway, let's. We're gonna. We're gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you with that. No, we're gonna try to flip it back around, guys. Um, if we lose you, we'll jump back on. But let's see if technology is okay with this. Ah, are we here. still on? <laughs> so it's okay with us flipping it that way. We just couldn't flip it the other way. Awesome. Thank you guys again for sending in all of your wonderful designs and decor. And um, we tried to get through everybody's um, the best that we could. And I'm yeah. sorry that technology kind of blip um, <laughs> took some time. But um, you guys are so super creative. Um, from the fireplace mantles to the wreaths to... I've got some ideas. Just all yeah. that. I know. We mm -hmm. hope that today it was inspiring yes. um, for you and to know that you can use the things around your house or, um, you know, inexpensive items to decorate. Mm -hmm. I absolutely adore the wrapping paper in the... Yes. yes. I mean, you always are And then have those bags at Marshall's. We saw them. The yeah, we did. I mean, the little, like, uh, satchels. Almost. Like a Santa sack. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. His, they're anywhere. They're everywhere. So um, thank you guys so much for joining us. If you have commented live, your name will go into the drawing for our mm -hmm. ION events. Coffee mug. So oh. Join us in, in having a beverage on Thursday mornings when we're live. Thank you guys so much for jumping on. Um, sorry, I'm reading some of the comments. Thank you guys so much for jumping <laughs> on. And um, we'll try to post maybe the slideshow of some things. If you guys have any questions about what you've seen, reach out to us and we'll reach out to the creator. Oh, yeah. I have to, <laughs> the cardboard 
reindeer. We love it. Yeah. This is Rudolph. He has a red nose. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you can learn how to make some of these things if you want to. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, thank you guys so much for joining us. We'll be back ooh, next Thursday. Yes. 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 We have something really special planned. We're not going to be in our office. We're actually heading out to Woo -woo. A, a vendor's office or a wedding prof another event professional's office um, for some fun times. So you're going to want to um, make sure that you join us live to see what we've got up our sleeves. See Especially. how crazy it gets out of our It's going to get crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's going to get so crazy. I'm so excited about that one. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Yes. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. We're Emily Weddings. You can find us on social media as Emily Weddings everywhere. This is our show, Eye on Events, where we keep our eye on events. And you just keep your eye on us, and then we'll keep you in the know with the latest and greatest in tips, tricks, and trends. Um, and any kind of decor. We love decor. We love design. Yes. So thanks for joining. Thanks for hanging out with us. We hope that you have a wonderful Thursday. Bye. And a good weekend. And a good weekend. Yes. Yay.